Hi guys, I am back with another video and today it's all about the favorites. I have a few favorites that I want to pop in here and talk about really fast and I have some oldie but goodies and I think maybe we've kind of forgot about uh, a few of these. But anyway, if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a lip smoothie and it's by Pharmacy and you all probably already know what I'm talking about, but this stuff, guys, is the business comes in a little packaging like this and what I like about it is that I really do like the scent I, I, I wouldn't call it a flavor because it's not anything that you eat but I do like the scent of it it does have peptides in it so it's very moisturizing uh, to your lips and I feel as though this because it is kind of on the I don't want to say heavier side. I just like to use it at night as part of my evening skincare routine. And of course, I like to put something special on my lips. And the Pharmacy um, Lip Smoothie line has other scents, uh, if you will. I can't really think of uh, what the others are, but this one's really nice. And the only thing that I don't like about it is that you have to contaminate it with your hand, like if you're on the go, unless of course you keep on a, a little sanitized spatula with you. But outside of that, I really like it. And it come, it looks like this. And I've, I wouldn't say that I'm down to half, but I have used a significant portion of it. And even my husband likes it. Anytime I get any kind of skincare, I'm like slathering it all on, on him. I, t I use him as a tester because he has sensitive skin. But anyway, I love this. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should. I think these run about 22 bucks. Um, definitely worth a try. All right, next up is a foundation, and this is a stick foundation by Bobbi Brown. And this foundation has been around for years. Have you ever noticed how um, things come and go? Okay, especially at Sephora. Sephora is quick to drop something and then they'll boot it out if it's not doing well. And I'll never forget a couple of years ago, um, uh, Sephora had, they remember when Sephora used to have those big palettes and they had the cool tone, the warm tone, the this, the that, the that. And they kept them in the store for a little bit, but not, you know, shortly after they deceded. And I passed by a manager. I said, what happened to your, um, your, your eyeshadow palette. She said, well, they weren't, if they don't perform by a certain, in a certain manner, they will kick it out no matter what. Bobbi Brown, this particular foundation stick is still selling. That's just how good it is. It is full coverage and it does have squalene in it. So, you know, it does have a few good ingredients in it. It doesn't boast as much as uh, a lot of the other foundations that are out there, but for this to be a full coverage foundation and it looks really really good. It's full coverage, but it has a natural finish. So if you're one that you, you just don't like the liquid or the powder or the whatever, and you want something that you can kind of get on fast, uh, a stick might be the way to go. And I would definitely suggest trying the Bobbi Brown stick foundation. And you know, it's good if it's, if it has survived Sephora <laughs> for years and years and years, cause Sephora, they don't care. They'll boot their stuff out. They'll boot a name brand out. It, 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 it was a another it was a um a concealer that I liked really well and I went back I used it up and I used to talk about it a lot and I wanted to go back and get some more gone um just a lot of stuff another product and I know I'm kind of getting away from the topic but another uh brand that's doing really well is Fenty Fenty by Rihanna that her brand has been in Sephora consistently and she consistently does well but I don't know tell me in the comments if you've noticed that that Sephora doesn't play around Ulta they'll kind of you know let you ride let you make it a little bit but Sephora mm -mm, they're all about the business so next up I have a mascara and this is by Makeup Forever and you probably are like well you've never really talked about mascaras before no because on most of my videos I wear lashes and I don't have on lashes now. And here lately, I've been trying drugstore, high end, you know, medium end, however you want to call it, different mascaras just to see. Because you do see people, you do have people out there that, that claim that this product is good or this product works and this. My lashes are really non existent. And I feel as though while this won't give me an artificial look, it will add some length to it. And I just like to wear it if I'm on, on the go. 
you know, just have somewhere to get, uh, go really quick. And I want to kind of look reasonably put together. I'll add this and I think it's really good. It's got one side, of course, for lengthening and one side for thickening. When you do take the applicator out, I feel as though sometimes you do have to get a little bit of the excess off. So when you apply it to your eyes, it won't clump up and, you know, you look like you have spider eyes or whatever. Or whatever. But I feel like with any mascara, you, you would want to do that. Or at least I like to do that. And I have to have a steady hand. Are you all like that? I, if I, My hand has to be really steady and I have to be looking in a magnifying mirror whenever I'm putting on lashes uh, <laughs> whenever I'm putting on my mascara especially on the lower lash line because it seems like it never fails if I don't concentrate or if I don't have that magnifying mirror I'm gonna get it everywhere and it's just a disaster but anyway this particular mascara I've been totally loving I'm trying to think if you go on their website I think you can can, I think you can get a discount. You know how if you sign up for emails and things like that, you can get a discount. That's what I like to do. If I can't catch the sale with Sephora, the once a year sale, I'll go to the website, sign up for the email address, but I have to, you know, put a reminder in my phone or something like that to cancel that. Cause if you don't, they will hound you to death, to death. But anyway, definitely have been living that. All right, so next up I have a fragrance by Victor and Roth and I'll put the notes up there on the screen. And what I can tell you about this one, if you like uh, floral warm tones with a little bit of gunpowder accord added to it, and I, I know you're like, what, gunpowder? Do I really want to walk around smelling like gunpowder? But after this fragrance settles into your skin, now mind you, you know, I have smelled fragrances that is, you, you know it's the same fragrance, but it smells a little bit different on each person that you smell it on but the dry down on my skin not my clothes but my skin on this is uh, really nice if you're one that likes to just kind of try different fragrances you know something that has uh, a little bit of uniqueness to it the gun powder in this is divine the way they formulated this and I know you're like gun powder do I really want to just next time you're in Sephora try just just get a sample and just just try it just spray a little bit on the back of your hand or get the little card and then walk around in the store and then tell me tell me if you like it come back to this video and just put a comment I liked it or I didn't like it but this fragrance is so nice to dry down again to me this is uh, more of a, a, a romantic scent an evening scent you know do, you know going out scent something like that but definitely I have been enjoying this one Okay, so next up I have a moisturizer and this is by Clarins and this is the Moisture Rich Body Lotion with Shea Butter and can you tell how much I've been enjoying it because it's time for me to buy a third one of these. This for this particular um, lotion is very hydrating and moisturizing and moisturizing <laughs> you can't get it out moisturizing so if you have very and, and I know you hear a lot of people say if you have very dry skin or if you have but this one is really gonna get down in there and do what it needs to do as far as hydrating your skin it does have a lot of natural botanicals in it so you're not gonna find a lot of trash in it and it's it's the type of um, hi the hydration that it provides is that 30 minutes later or an hour later, your skin is still going to feel supple. And remember, anytime that you apply your body uh, lotions or potions and things like that, the best time to apply it is immediately when you get out of the shower. Now, not when you're dripping wet, but when your skin is damp, that's when you want to apply your lotion. And then if you have an oil, you apply it on top of that just to seal it in. That's the best steps to take if you're trying to, Let's say get rid of chicken skin or you're trying to get your skin moisturized or hydrated however if you're trying to you know level up on the skin game that's how you need to apply it right after you get out of the shower same with your skincare you know you you don't want to apply it to a stark uh, dry face you want it to be moist or a little damp but this is divine and 
I love it. If you haven't tried it, definitely uh, check it out. You can find this. Yeah. I see it at Macy's. Uh, Macy's has, it seems like the whole line of clearance. And again, they're on the pricier side, but definitely worth it. All right. So we're going to, we're going to go on the other end of the spectrum when we're talking about price. And this is a Hill Country Essentials intense moisturizing cream comes in a bottle like this i live in texas so if you have a heb around you and you you see this little baby definitely pick it up this is another this is one that's affordable okay um it's not going to have a lot of a lot of stuff is uh the clearance but you're definitely going to get a lot of good ingredients for the skin to help hydrate it and it also could be uh used for chicken skin you know that type of stuff definitely good and it's uh, a great value too I think and really Hill Country as you all know if you're familiar with H-E-B you know that that's the brand that pretty much copies off of the name brand so if I'm not mistaken I think this one is copying off of Cetaphil I think that's what it is but definitely divine and I love it all right so next up I have a edge control and this is a instant control edge and braid gel comes in a little container Ugh. <laughs> comes in a little container like this and let me tell you honey <laughs> this you know I don't know what they're putting in this gel stuff but it low-key scares me so that I have you know 4C hair you know she curls up she you know she curls up we all know what that is and it's like this will lay it down and what the reason I say this scares me is because like if I accidentally like at the end of the day the hair is still the this is still in place it's still laid down flat and but I've slept in this one time before and it was still flat and I'm like why and it it's like you move it and it's like <laughs> and I keep saying it's like why do I keep saying it <laughs> but anyway it the reason that I say it scares me is because it's like what sorcery is is it is it gonna hurt my hair anytime that I use it if I use it for the day or for a couple of hours when I'm through with the day I come and I wash wash it out because <laughs> I don't know I don't know what the long-term effects are but if you're looking for something that's gonna flatten your edges and keep them flat you might want to try this okay so next up I have a bag and this is the Grayson bag by Michael Kors super cute it's just a little duffel bag okay and it's super cute it's got the feet on the bottom the little charm right here and I've got a lot of stuff in here girl right I've got so much stuff can you see that so I like carrying this when I'm on the go just um, out on an outing like going out to meet friends for lunch or brunch or whatever like that um, I also like the strap that goes with it is long enough I could wear it as a crossbody and even though this is a mini purse it can hold a lot right so I'm just gonna quickly run down and just tell you what it can hold napkins wallet wallet moisturizer soap phone fingernail clippers mirror chaps okay and there still would be room for more in the bag like if i had like uh credit cards or money in the zipper because i didn't have anything in the pocket right here or the or the zipper so yeah i've been carrying this baby and loving every minute of it all right and then the last thing that i have is black clinique and this is their smart clinique repair wrinkle correcting serum this is it right here it does have a special formulated retinol that clinique has designed so if you're really into anti-aging and there are specific wrinkles that you want to address you could definitely apply this one now with this particular serum i find that it does work well with matte foundations because it does find it has like um once you apply it to your skin your your skin feels velvety you know, it's not really, um, you know how some serums or moisturizers, it feels hydrated or dewy or on the wet side. This one makes the skin feel velvety. That's probably the best way I could describe it. And it plays really, really well with matte foundations. So if you're kind of struggling um, to find something that plays well with those type of foundations, definitely check this one out. But it offers so many good ingredients that are going to help to smooth out 
out the skin and just kind of make it to where those wrinkles or deep, deep setted wrinkles are not as apparent. Now, are you going to get something like a Botox look or, or anything like that? Definitely not. But you are going to see a difference where it, 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 in my opinion, it makes your skin uh, more plump in that area. Like if you have any deep seated wrinkles or things like that, this is definitely the one to try. And the uh, serum has like a, like a white creamy uh, texture, not really runny. Um, it is cool to the touch, feels really good, but I just love and and it doesn't have a scent, no fragrance. And you all know how I feel about fragrance. You know, sometimes, yeah, I, you, you, you can't avoid it, okay? You can't avoid it. Is it gonna kill you? No, but if I had a choice, uh, but this one, no fragrance. And I just love how it, it makes the fence, the skin feels. If you're ever, I'm trying to think, would who would have it? Ulta would definitely have it or Macy's. If you're just passing through, just take a little bit and just rub it on your skin and you'll see what I'm talking about. You was like, oh, that's what Bridget was talking about. So that concludes the video. Let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these products and if so, how, how well did they work for you? Or how well did they not work for you? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.